I distract easily. Is there a miraculous way to stay focused? I love that question. It's so simple. <laughs> yes, there is definitely a miraculous way to stay focused. That's to not think. And that would seem really like the antithesis of the correct answer. But if you're not thinking, let's just try this now for a minute. If you're not thinking, what are you focused on? Just ask yourself that question. If I'm not thinking, what am I focused on? Allow yourself to feel it. It's peace and ease that upwells from within you. It's a sense of connectivity. It's a sense of just being able to be. It's presence. And when you're in that state, things are brought to you. You don't have to seek them out. You don't have to be in a place where uh, you feel distracted because so much is coming and going you'll notice that what arises puts itself very prominently in front of you when it's yours to engage with. The things that are not yours to engage with will be out in the periphery. They'll be kind of in the distance. They'll feel like a distant hum rather than that they're on the front and center of your plate. You'll see that when you distract easily, it's because primarily you've been focusing on things that don't matter to you. And I would really wager that with the majority of people who think they have ADD or learning disabilities in lots of ways is because people have been forcing them, well-meaning people, to focus on things that don't really matter to them. And yet when somebody really, really enjoys and loves something, they're going to be expert at it and they're going to focus really easily I just saw a beautiful story about a girl in Boston, and I was trying to find out where this bakery is. It's a girl with Down syndrome who um, wanted to work at a place, and I think she worked there briefly, but got fired. And so she decided she wanted to bake cookies, and she was going to start her own bakery. And she did, and now she's, you know, running this bakery with a whole staff of people, and uh, she loves it so much that it's it's becoming a wild success. And she bakes every day; it's what she loves to do. And you can't tell me that she's learning disabled because she started a business focusing on what she loves. So I think we should all be a lot easier on ourselves and let ourselves notice, take this time during this great pause of the pandemic and before we get back rolling back into things and coming back to normal, in quotes, let yourself see what it is you love the most, the things you would do when no one else is watching, when you're in a vacuum. And if you can love it, then you can be sustainable and you will focus there. You won't be distracted. It'll be super easy for you to stay focused. And you'll see that it was just that before this, maybe you didn't quite know who you were and you were letting other people tell you what to focus on. And it never seemed possible to keep your focus in that way. Love yourself, number one, and you'll find what it is that you love most and focus there. <laughs>